guys, I am here today with my friend Tara. She's one of the girls that works at our salon and I'm doing another vlog of kind of how we touch up hair because you guys loved the last one with Mariah. So I decided we're gonna do another one. So, as comfortable as Tara is going to be in this <laughs> video. So just turn to the side. So this is not my original creation, but I am going to be touching it up today. It's actually by her, one of the guys that she used to work for, Jason. He's awesome, go check him out. I'll have his Instagram linked. <laughs> um, so she basically just has this really amazing blue that's kind of faded. And as you can tell, girlfriend's got some dark roots. So we're gonna go in and touch up her rue and then touch up the blue color as well. So the very first step in this process is to go through and highlight all of Tara's hair. I'm going to be doing a full weave on her. So everything except for the very top portion on the top of her head from parietal to parietal is going to be weaved. And then the very top section of that hair I'm going to do slices. Because of the way that we want the color to look on her hair, this is going to lighten everything so that we can put a really light blue. You can't do these fun, funky colors a very light shade if you do not weave and lighten the hair first. And when you lighten it, you want to get it basically to white or no yellow in the hair because yellow can compromise your end result color and we don't want to do that. Now we have a million bajillion foils in her hair and we just went and foiled basically everything. Um, except for her little front piece because she's got a dark streak in the front. And then she's going to go into the dryer. So we've taken all of her highlights out that I had in all the foil packs. And now we're just left with a pretty like platinum highlight. Um, when you're doing these types of colors, you want to get as much yellow out because if you have a lot of yellow in there, it will definitely change the color that you're putting on top. So if we're adding yellow into our color, what would it make it, Tara? What? What green. would it make it? Yeah, kind of like scary muddy green. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is just put a few foil packets of a darker blue to give her some dimension. And then everything else, we're gonna put her all over light blue color and let that process for a few minutes. For all of this conditioner, I put two dots, basically. Two, two drops of the blue in the conditioner with probably a quarter ounce of the yellow. And then, so basically with these colors, if you want it to be a lighter pastel color, you use conditioner as a base and then Tara Custom mixes a blue and a yellow to make the exact color that she wants. And that is what we put over the hair after we lighten it. And this color right here is my absolute favorite. This is my favorite brand. What do you, do you like? What do you like the best? Scruples is a really bright. Mm -hmm. So I, I tend to like Scruples more. And you like? Has, have you used Rust before? Mm -hmm. You like that one too? Yeah. I've not used that one before. That's it a lot of color a in a tube. It lasts a long time. Yeah. Nice. A lighter blue color that's gonna go all over, and this is the dark blue that we're gonna put in foils. So I also wanted to kind of show you guys, other than me just foiling the hair, I do do this on dry hair. The reason why this color is best used on dry hair is because you're not going to be watering it down because if your hair on your client is wet or with water all over it, it is going to kind of water down your color. First of all, it's gonna make it a little bit more messy and harder to know exactly where you're putting your color. And second, it's going to water down your formula. Your formula. So we wanna make sure that we're doing it on dry hair so we can get the best saturation and it's really going to make the hair the easiest way to make sure we're putting on our color in certain specific spaces. What I'm doing here is foiling in the darker pieces and I'm doing kind of a chunky weave because Tara wants it to have a little bit more color this time of those darker pieces. So I'm just going in and foiling kind of every like inch and a half or so around her head with this darker color. And then in between I go back and add in all of that kind of um, lighter blue just from roots to ends. foils right now is like a really dark blue that just is gonna give her color some dimension which is really cool like the last time that they did the color it had a lot of dimension so it just wasn't one color then everything outside of the foils we put that lighter color on from roots to ends 
And then we're going to put a bag on it and put it under the dryer because the scruples is allowed to go under the dryer and it just makes it more saturated. Vlogs! Hi, you're in the vlog, Chris. Who's trying to do, who has to do jury duty? My husband, he just did jury duty. So this is Tara's hair wet. And then we're going to blow it out and show you what it looks like. Oh, really? What? Aww, are you camera shy? Look, you keep on moving because you're nervous. And I like being on there. I also wanted to show you guys what I use on Tara's hair. So I use the Evo Styling Products Root Canal at her roots and then Shape Vixen all over. And at the end, I put a little bit of haze once it's dry just to pump up that volume. All right, so we just blew it out and oh my gosh, wait, turn for me. Because if I turn, then I'm gonna lose the lighting. Okay. It is so pretty. Oh, yeah. And we did a little bit more of like the darker blue pieces and through her hair. And adding that dimension makes such a difference. It is so pretty. So this is in the sunshine. It is so amazing. So oh blue. my gosh. I love God, it. So we have finally finished up Tara's hair and you can tell from left to right, the left is before, the right is after, just that gorgeous blue vibrancy that we added back into her hair. I hope you guys are liking these new kind of salon vlog type style of videos. I promise I'm going to get better at them. If you want to check out my last one, I'll have it linked down below. I'll see you guys later.